hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're a new subscriber welcome and if you're returning thank you for coming back so this is the abaya i'm making today as you can see i made two one for a smaller girl she's four and for this i think she's 10 or 11 yeah so for this abaya you are going to need your wrist to wrist measurement for any abaya you know all those designer luxury dubai abayas this is how they are made from their measurement is wrist to wrist uh, multiplied by two then you fold it into two or rather into four yeah i have another video on how to make a bias with one cut is similar to this okay it's the same thing actually just that um for this a bio, um a cape was added but you can check out my other video i will link it to the description box below so that you can check it out and see it's the same procedure just that we added a cape for this yeah so here i'm just placing neck measurements and when you place your neck measurements the remaining measurement is just your hand measurements that is why it's advised to just measure your wrist to wrist so that you don't need to you know like there's no stress when you have your wrist to wrist measurement you just need one cut to have your abaya now we're just going to place our um our sleeve width that is how wide you want your sleeve to be of course you put one um half an inch or one inch sewing allowance then for the width i'm using six inches then i'm going to draw a line then i'm going to place her bust measurement or you can use your hip round rather hip round divided by four plus um four inches allowance or five inches allowance, depending on how wide you want the abaya to be you know the main focus of an abaya is for it to be free you know be free <laughs> that's just it so i'm using her hip measurement instead of her bust measurement you can use your bust measurement if you want but if you want it to be really free like any other abaya not tight then you should use your hip measurement yes after placing it you can draw a straight line you see from your um bust point you can draw a straight line down or you can draw a slant line as you can see yes so for most abayas it is that um they draw a slant line you know they don't draw that straight line because when you draw that straight line it's going to be like the abaya is going to be one size from the top to the bottom but when you draw that this slant line it's going to be that the upper part is smaller than the lower part so that means the lower part will be open like it will open and it will flowing with the air <laughs> so i prefer this one where it is slanted but i believe the picture on my thumbnail they drew a straight line like they just went straight from the bust point to down is the same measurement but i used this method you can use any one you want yeah i hope i'm not speaking too fast guys i hope so yeah so you just cut it out of course cut out the neck and you see that's it like that's it you have your abaya just open up this side if we're not adding that um what's it called that keep that that is all like you are done with your abaya yeah so you open up the front part you divide it right at the middle so that you'll be able to add one inch i'll show you guys what i mean you add one inch so that you'll be able to add um a pin for the neck area or a button of course this is you know optional yeah so you take out two inches from the side edge of the abaya so that it won't be dragging on the floor so that the middle of the abaya will be longer than the sides i hope you get what i'm saying so for the cape we're making here so the cape is 24 inches for the length and the width it's just a normal 360 degree cycle that is just what we are making here so i'll be marking out 4.5 inches round from the you know top of the 360 degree circle that's just what i'm doing then after marking out 4.5 inches i'm just marking out 20 inches round guys i believe everyone here can do this it's just a normal 360 circle so have you subscribed to my channel have you seen the content i'm dropping for you guys like come on come on go through my channel i'm pretty sure there will be at least three more dresses that you'd like to make for yourself so please subscribe okay yeah and then you cut out the neck area then you open up one side now what i'm going to do next is optional you can just open up that one side and just leave it like that or you can curve it out like this way i'm going to do it 
okay carving this out is what made that space as you saw from the beginning the few clips in the beginning as you can see the front is a little bit open i hope you get like the cape it's open you can see their chest area but if you don't do this they like the chest area will not be seen so it's optional like i said and that's also this is it after stitching yeah it's pretty easy i just here you see from that front i just add on one inch to just close it up yeah then here we are adding the cape to the neck this abba is very easy to make guys like it's beautiful but very easy to make stunning too so thank you for watching bye bye